How you doing? Long time since I've been out. Uh, millions and millions of reasons. Um, bit of illness, uh, injury, bad weather, heavy workload, plus the other 990 odd thousand excuses. Anyway, I'm out tonight, Friday afternoon, late afternoon, and uh, I'm actually looking for a woodland camp tonight. I want to try and get into a forest, a pine forest if I can, something like that. I've got an idea. I'm, I'm heading towards a pine forest. I just want to see uh, if there's any opportunities, flat areas, to pitch up. Um, never really camped in a, in a dense woodland before, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, what it's like, you know, the surroundings, the environment, the sounds, that whole thing. Um, so. Without further ado, I've got an, an hour or so's climb up into this forest. Um, we'll do a bit of video on the way up and then we'll pick it up when we find a camp, if we find a camp. <laughs> I've been hunting around this uh, pine forest now for a good 30 minutes and there's nothing really. It's uh, There's nothing reasonably flat and uh, it's just completely unsuitable anyway. I could hear a stream so I stopped off to get water and I'm going to keep climbing and if I get if I say a spot on the way up I'll stop and, uh, and make it home for the night if not I'll just keep climbing and uh, we may end up camping at the summit okay so I uh, continued through the woodland and really couldn't find anywhere as said and uh, walked up to the top of this hill here so I found a, well, look at that, I mean it's, they should sell tickets for this one, absolutely perfect. So I'm going to get my, uh, my tent pitched up here in the next uh, 15 minutes or so and then I shall get settled down uh, and probably just have a drink and drink in this fantastic view. Not so bad is it? So I brought the Lux X-Peak TP with me again this evening. I'm getting uh, better and better at this now, so this is the third time up. Again, managed to pitch it all in one again, which uh, it went up very quickly, so very pleased. It is a bit fussy at the start, but once you get the, um, once you get the nest strung out and, and fastened in place, and I'll show you what I've done in a second. Basically, four pegs, centre pole up the middle, uh, and then just peg it all out and it, it all just drops into place. I know a couple of people have had problems with it and that kind of stuff but it really does pitch one in one very very quickly. Anyway let's have a look inside. So this evening I have gone back to my well it's my, it's, uh, it's my Robins Cool Wire 350 with the uh, the centre zip. This is a it's a, it's a two season Certainly, you know, it's good for three seasons. We're down to minus four. Um, very, very lightweight, around about 700 and something grams. And it's first outing tonight of the Big Agnes. So again, this is gonna be my summer pad. Again, it's got a, an R rating of four. So it offers me that protection. And um, it's, it's first, I've had it a while ago. God, I think I've had it about three or four months and never used it yet because it's been so cold. Uh, so we'll see how that goes tonight. So as you can see, what I've done here, you know, this is what I've fastened it. So I've got these like these tiny carabiners um, and fastened all this in. And then it's, you can see it's all strung out, that kind of stuff. So once, once I've got it uh, pegged out in these four corners and put the, the centre, the walking pole up the middle, it just all rises. 
and then tighten all the guy lines out and it, uh, it really does go up quickly in one fantastic little camping spot I had to seam seal this myself uh, and it is going to rain tonight so it'll be its first tent in the rain as well but yeah very very pleased with it very pleased a little bit of, I need to get this tightened up a little bit here you know you can just see where that's pulling on the inside nest I just need to tighten that up a little bit good and the view for tonight So the last time I were here, I think there must have been three or four inches of snow. It was a very, uh, a very cold camp, minus, minus five or six I seem to remember anyway. That was a good night. There were some good stars on shore that night. Uh, so if you haven't already guessed, I'm up the Kruik Tarbet, which is my local hill, with uh, with my home just at the bottom of it. Regularly made famous by Scotland Mountains Murray and his trusty sidekick Jerry, who came up in the rain a couple of weeks ago. It's a cracking little climb. Um, I can't remember how many. What altitude it is, what feet it is, but the views are spectacular. I mean, it's not so bad. Let's see if I can. Uh, I've got the GoPro, but I'll uh, I'll put it on full zoom and show you around. So as before, down Loch Lomond, and then we have Ben Lomond with. Uh, Oh my goodness me, gazillions of mountains in the distance going north up Loch Lomond and then that hill directly in front of you is Ben Vorlich and between there in the distance is the Sloy Dam which is a, it, it's a, it's quite a feature, it's, there's some good camping spots there but I'm not too sure if it's just a bit popular um, but it'd be a good camp sometime. I'm actually quite interested to try get to the other side. I think you can get from it from the uh, from the other side to rest and be thankful. So I might try that one day. Then further on, uh, the peak in the distance is Ben Vane, which is one of my favourites of the Arica Alps, Accra. And then you have got Ben Narnen with Benim behind. Just see the top of Ben Arthur, who always gets a mention. Then you've got the Brack, not Conic, heading all the way down Ardgarten to the, the saddle, the saddle in the distance, and down Loch Long, and then round Ben Riuk. It's absolutely fantastic. And it only takes about an hour to get up. And if you come at the right time of day, you can have it all to yourself. Like what like I have. Just gonna have uh, got my tea now. I've got one of these expedition meals that my wife bought me, so thank you very much for that. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm actually yawning my head off here I'm getting a bit of a chill so I think that's an indication that I'm ready for some food I'm just looking down the lock now and um, I can see rain in the distance it is forecast so I think it's going to be up here in, uh, in the next 30 minutes so I'll get this um, I'll get this meal prepared and start start tucking in and then I'll settle down 
and uh, we'll see how much of this rain comes. I'll see you soon. Uh, good morning. It's just after half past seven. I've been awake for the last hour. Um, just laying in my tent. It's a bit, uh, a little bit chilly. I had to put another layer on. It's a bit cool. Not properly two season camping gear just yet. I'm just listening to the rain. It's been raining on and off for the last hour. Um, We've got reasonable visibility in low cloud, so I think what I'll do, I shall set the camera up and uh, see if we can get some some nice footage of these clouds passing over the hills, and then we'll pick this up a little later. Morning. Right, I'm all packed up. And uh, see where I camped last night, so fine. The only thing I'm leaving behind is a couple of slugs. It's, uh, it's raining a bit now, so I think the best thing for me to do is get a layer off because I'm getting quite warm now. So I'm back in the woodland now and um, obviously I still didn't get to do my, my woodland camp, but I will. So a good camp. Uh, I slept. I slept well. Probably got off about ten thirty. Slept well. Turned over a few times. Me. Me hand kept going numb. Everything performed well. I never heard a thing. And then probably woke up at um, I guess at about six o'clock. And I was cold. Just uh, I was on my side and my back was cold. But I'd only had um, I'd only had a thin merino wool layer on. So it wasn't too bad. So I put that little down jacket on that I've just taken off. I put that on, which I've just taken off. I just laid there for an hour, listening to the rain. Anyway. Good to be out again, thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, good to get my legs going as well, that were, that's important. I'm feeling it a little bit this morning with that climb. So I need to get these legs going again. Um, other than wishing my sister happy birthday, happy birthday Joanne. Have a fantastic day. Uh, I'm gonna make my way down through this woodland now. And if I see anything that's worth filming, I'll film it if I don't. Thank you once again for joining me. Great fun. We'll see you on the next one. See you again soon.